Greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mama Roo's Ancestral Musings. If you are a returning listener, welcome back. And if you are a new listener, thank you so much for checking me out today and letting me spend, you know, a little bit of time talking in your ear. It is a beautiful day today in Chicago, Illinois, where I am spreakering from. I hope everybody's had a great weekend. I know I did. Once again, I went out with um, New Era Chicago. We marched, uh, did our Black Love, Black Unity, Black Power March in the area of Motown, which is a little bit um, west and south, I'm sorry, north of where I live. And um, it was fantastic. There were just so many groovy things going on that day. I think I wrote about a couple of them on my Facebook. So follow me on my Facebook page if you'd like to read all about that. Um, I'm on there as Manati Wilson. So click the follow button and check it out. The weekend was also really, really interesting because on Sunday I went to church and saw Reverend Jesse Jackson speak. I had no idea that he was speaking that day. Um, but he came in to and, and did a sermon, and that was my first time ever um, hearing him preach a sermon, you know, in person. I think I've seen him do it on TV, but um, that was my first time seeing him preach, and he did a hell of a good job. Um, brother did drop the word vote no less than maybe 10 times. <laughs> okay, so there is that. But later that evening, I saw another Jesse preach. And this time, um, it was all of that and then some. And I'm talking about Jesse Williams, the actor from Grey's Anatomy, one of, I believe it's now three shows created by the sister Shonda Rhimes. Okay, they all come on on Thursdays on ABC. Um, Love that woman. You know, um, when we do our thing in ways that we were normally shut out of, I have nothing but love. Um, And the topic of today is how we hate on each other for doing the very things that we used to complain that we didn't see enough representation of us in those things. We just are terrible at ripping and tearing down our own. This is a time Um, that we need to be mobilizing and we need to be unifying. And there are some folks out there who act like it is their life's purpose to prevent that from happening. Now, I know you may have heard the term, all our skin folk ain't our kin folk. And if you hear that repeated over and over, it starts to lose its meaning. It starts to lose its importance. Okay, and it just just becomes a hashtag. Well, I am putting up the bold font. I am italicizing and I am underscoring and I'm putting a, a dozen exclamation points behind that phrase. Because too many people out there are acting like the things they accuse others to be, and that is agents of white supremacy. If you see somebody speaking to the power of black unity and they don't look like you because maybe they got less melanin than you do, and for that reason, You're going to try to dismiss their message, undermine them. You are the agent, motherfucker. You are. You are the very thing that you claim you hate. You are the very thing that you claim is our enemy. All our skin folk ain't our kin folk. Oh my gosh. Y'all, let me backtrack. In case you didn't know, and I don't really know how you couldn't have known, but you know, in case some of y'all don't know, Sunday night, the BET Awards aired and they gave out a a few awards. And one of the awards that they gave out was humanitarian of the year. And the recipient of that award was Jesse Williams. Like I said before, he's a television actor. 
He plays a doctor or a surgeon on Grey's Anatomy. The brother is biracial. He had his parents there, so you could see them. His father is black, black, blackity black, and his mother happens to be white. Okay? Biracial. Like so many other black folks in America, right? You are probably biracial. Okay? Um... There are a faction, there's a faction of black folks out there who call themselves woke and conscious, right? And they think they know what's best for us as black people. And a smattering of them have colorism issues, all right? Everybody thinks that colorism impacts black women the most. I'm starting to see the flip side. There are some brothers out there who are so warped up in the mind, okay, that they are oppressing not only themselves, but others in this colorist rhetoric. And colorism is a component of racism. Racism is the driving force of white supremacy. Okay, did you get that? I'm trying to keep it plain, all right? When you bash another black person because of the content of the melanin in their epidermis, you are playing into the white supremacist tricks and you are acting out their shit. Because like I said before in a previous episode, our biggest weapon in the fight against white supremacy is black unity. And as long as you motherfuckers are out there trying to perpetuate disunity, you are an agent of white supremacy. You need to sit your dusty, musty, crusty asses down and shut the fuck up and let real black people do the talking. Real black men like Jesse Williams with his light skinnedness and his light eyes that seem to be three or four different colors, depending on who took the picture, who photoshopped it, or what kind of contact lenses he might've been wearing that day. I don't know. The brother eyes like blue in one thing, green in another, hazel in another. I don't know what's going on. He got light eyes and maybe some kind of texture here. I don't know. I just saw a picture of the brother with dreads. Okay. With locks past his shoulders. I bet if he looked like that saying that speech, y'all would shut the fuck up. I bet, you know, you know what? I'm going to take it another step further. If it was Alicia Keys up there making that same exact speech, would there have been a problem? Probably because the sisters would have a problem with it. The brothers, not so much, but black women are guilty of the same motherfucking thing. Okay. Black women will dismiss a light skin or biracial woman's uh, uh, words because of the way she looks. Folks, stop falling into that bullshit. Stop it. People cannot help the way that they look. If you have any understanding of genetic science, and I know a lot of you don't, so I'm going to try to make this very simple, okay? Okay. You know that a die has six faces, right? And they're numbered with dots. One dot for one, two dots for two, all the way up to six. Okay? Each time you roll a die, you have a one in six chance of getting any number. Is that you understand? Because there's only six faces. You understand that? So now you're rolling two. You understand that? So what are the chances of getting a one or a snake eyes on both of those things? Okay. And on and on. So imagine you had hundreds of these dice and you shake them all up and scatter them out. And each one of those things represents a trait. Okay. Like skin color or the amount of melanin deposited in the skin cells of the epidermis, which is the outer layer of your skin. Okay. What are the odds? 
We carry so many things in our, in our genes. So it's very random, you know, look at me. Or well, maybe y'all don't know what I look like, but I'm sort of light brown, medium brown in the summer. Okay. My husband is a little darker than me. Both of us have fathers who were dark skin. Both of us have mothers who were light. His mother was damn near white looking. All right. We have two daughters together. I got a light skinned child look like Michael Jackson. Got a dark skinned child look like Michael Jackson. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I am so sorry. But anyway, yeah, I have a lighter daughter and a darker daughter. My darker daughter is darker than me. My lighter daughter is lighter than me and lighter than both of her parents. You see how that works? Okay. My mother's father, light skin. My mother's mother, dark skin. They had, I don't know what, 15 kids together. They range in color from the darkest of the dark to the whitest of the white and everything in between. It's all simple science. But folks, I don't know what their problems are. Maybe they slept in school during that part of the, of the, uh, of the school session. I don't know. But folks are acting like they are stuck on stupid. I don't like to see us act that way. I don't like to see us perpetuating ignorance, things that can be easily understood with just a couple of clicks of the mouse on the goddamn internet, things that can be easily refuted, okay, being perpetuated by people. And we are still in a war here. We don't have time to sit back and unravel all your bullshit. Because some of us got shit to do. Okay? We moving on. And a lot of y'all motherfuckers are going to get left behind. Because you're calling yourselves woke. But you're still walking around like the motherfucking walking dead. You a woke zombie, bitch. Stop that dumb shit. You're going to undermine Jesse Williams because of his skin color? You motherfuckers need to go take a trip over to stormfront.com or .org or .net or whatever the fuck. That's that racist uh, website message board forum. Y'all need to have a trip over there, okay? Because you got some white brothers over there who talk just like you do, who think just like you do, okay? Go hang out with them because the real conscious black folks you know, we're getting ready to kick y'all out and take y'all cars away. I'm so serious. Uh, loving you is complicated to steal from Brother K-Dot, King Kendrick. Loving you is complicated. Y'all make it so goddamn hard. All right? I love all my people. Even the ones who act stuck on stupid. Even the ones who talk a lot of shit that is nasty and harmful and vile, especially to black women. And that's another thing. Jesse Williams put black women on in the spotlight during that speech. And I think that's the real reason a lot of you all are so fucked up about it. All right. Let's go. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's get down. Let's get underneath the skin here. Let's get down to the to the white meat of this. All right. No pun intended. Let's get down to the real motherfucking deal of why y'all so fucking heated. OK, and all fucked up about this Jesse Williams speech. It's not that he looks the way look. Well, yeah, that might have something to do with it. But I think the real problem y'all have is that he put black women on the pedestal all right and he gave us our props he gave us our due he gave us our credit shit that y'all can't do because you all so fucked up with your misogynistic bullshit your misogynoir okay the very thing that you accuse black women of doing that you can't stand you motherfuckers turn around and do the same goddamn thing you do the same shit, you hypocrite. Lord, have mercy. It, it, it's just, uh, it's crazy to me. All right. How they can practice so much misogyny 
homophobia and bigotry, colorism, and then try to do this under the banner of being motherfucking woke. Okay? 